I had a funny dream last night, and when I woke up, I was like, you know what, I should do a video about something related to that dream. I had a dream that I sat down and just with, with paper, just writing it out. I was writing out like a play slash musical of my life. So, because I was doing this play slash musical of my life, I wrote 28 pages by hand on paper. At the end of all that writing, I was like, well, I'm tired, so I go out to get myself something to drink, something to eat, and I go to a convenience store of some sort. And now, since it's a dream, I was living in a different apartment, and it was a different store, it was a different place. But when I came back, there was a crew. I was like, why is there, like, a TV crew here? And they're like, oh, yo, yeah, we love your story. I'm like, you love my story? I'm like, yep, yep, it's great. Your life story is going to be huge. This is going to be amazing. And I'm like... Okay, I just wrote it on paper. And and then they talked about how uh, the only thing they were going to have a hard time with was was my story about uh, being chokeslammed by Kane from WWE. And they weren't sure if they could get Kane to come in or not, but they figured they could get a stand-in if that wasn't the case. Um, I'm not sure why, <laughs> how how my, my life story would evolve getting chokeslammed by Kane, but okay. Um, I didn't even watch wrestling last night. I swear, I saw like five minutes of Roman Reigns against Rusev. I didn't even see Kane. Um, but they wanted my penance. They were like, for this to work, for the set we're going to have on the stage, we want your hockey penance. Where are they? So I brought them out, and they, they reacted like it was the most amazing thing they'd ever seen. Because they were mine. And I was this big deal. My son comes out. Uh, this morning before he left and I told him I said can you please let me know if you're going to stay out tonight because usually you don't tell me and it'll be about two days if something happens to you before I even report you missing so you might want to start getting on that shit so hopefully I hear from him today anyways but my son says to me he goes you know he said dad you're a media guy now because he said you're actually making money you're actually like an entertainer and I was like, I've always been an entertainer. I just didn't have a, st <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't really have an audience outside of my coworkers. I was usually quite popular at stream in terms of people wanting to sit around me because A, I was usually smart and could figure out the answer. And B, I was normally pretty funny to listen to either on a call or listening to somebody else on a call. Um, there was one agent um, that I would listen to and I'd put my finger up when they started a call and I'd wait and I'd go, and they lost them now. And I, I would I would pick the exact moment when whoever was calling in would figure out they were a fucking idiot. <laughs> and I'd be like, and they lost them now. They lost them now. And it just, it never, it never failed to draw a laugh because I was right. Because immediately after I go, and you've lost him now. And then I start hearing, well, sir, I don't see the point. Sir, calling a supervisor over isn't, sir, if you could stop arguing with me for a minute. And it's like, yeah, yeah, no, you're done. You're done. That's it. You're done. You've lost them. They're going to call for a supervisor. And especially when I was the one taking the supervisor calls, it's important to know where they're going to call, come from. So I'd see this person walk in and I'd be like, oh, it's going to be a long night. And and nine times out of ten, if I was on a supervisor call, I would defend the agent I was taking the supervisor call for. This person, I didn't. Ever. You know, the customer would be like, and she's a fucking idiot. And I go, and I'm sorry for that. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and she's still listening and never, never clued in once. Wait, did he just agree that I'm an idiot? Nah, never clued in. Anybody else I would say, sir, I am I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to backtrack on that a bit. Uh, our agents are very well trained, I understand you're having a bad time, and I get that, and we're gonna work on that with you, but please refrain from personal comments about the agents. Her I'd go, Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no, no, I understand why you feel that way. There was no <laughs> no defending her. Anyways, so now as the superstar of the internet. And now that I'm on doing a video, the cats are going to start fucking around again. Um, I'm going to go through my penance. Now, these have been sitting on a, on my cupboard or on, on my in, in my kitchen. I haven't got really anywhere to put them. But trust me, they're epic. All right. So uh, they're not in any kind of an order. This is Calgary. I got this in 19... I want to say 91. Like, a lot of these I've had since, you know, my graduating year of high school. Uh, capitals, the exact same design as Flames. Um, Winnipeg Jets. So that's the old Jets logo. Established 1979. 
Oh god, this is so in need of being all cleaned up. This is just 20, 20 plus, 25 years of just being beat up. My Boston Bruins. That was the, f the second one I got. Second one. Classic Buffalo Sabres. This is before the Buffalo Slug, remember? I haven't bought any of these in over a decade. So, Capitals. I told you I was a Capitals fan. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is Kings. And right now people are probably like, man, you could get money for those on eBay. Yeah, I know. I'm not selling them on eBay. They're in shitty condition, but at the same time, you can't find these anywhere. I've been looking. There's Calgary again. I was just like, I like Calgary's logos and colors. Here's an epic one. Here's something amazing and beautiful all at the same time. Look at that. Yeah, Captain Fish Sticks. Captain Fish Sticks. And uh, as we get into territory where uh, I start repeating teams, if you see stars on them, they're glow-in-the-dark stars. I used to have two stars on each one so that when I turn the lights out at night, you just see stars all the way around the room. It was pretty cool um, for a guy. Uh, Colorado Avalanche meant to be displayed this way just to fuck with my collection. <laughs> they're, they're all straight across and then Colorado. Uh, this is nice old-fashioned colors. I desperately want a Canucks jersey in those colors again. Uh, the one that I have, the logo's coming off, and the silver's all shitty. Yes, and this one is probably one of my favorites. Dallas Stars. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Hartford Whalers. See, I'm telling you, this is an epic, epic collection. And I don't show it anymore. Here's one that uh, some people are going to like and some people are going to hate. There's the... Uh, Buffalo Sabres. See, when they made the change, I went out and got the Buffalo Sabres one right away after the change. From their expansion year, I believe, the Tampa Bay Lightning. I have no idea how many of these I've got. I know I've got every team in the league. There's the Flyers. I love that one. Flyers, that's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'll pay you for the collection. No. Because I can never collect these again. There's no friggin' way. Pittsburgh Penguins. And, and the pennants they make now are just really boring. They're really, there's a lot of empty blank space and they're really boring. There's nothing anywhere near as impressive as that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that like awesome? That's just amazing. And that's that's the horn that's on the shoulder of the uh, Blues jersey that I'm currently bidding on on eBay. Uh, this will make Montreal fans happy. There you go. See, I got every team. Again, this this goes back 20 years. This isn't This isn't an act. This is, I, I collect every single team. Because look at how epic that is. That is just gorgeous. My ex made me take them down. Uh, Carolina. Actually, she, she, let me, she let me put them up. I remember she put up, um, and she had them in like a wheel, like a circular wheel kind of shape. And she had two of them. And then I realized she skipped a bunch of my favorite ones. I knew she put up the one she liked, and I was like, I'm going to put up a third wheel. The funny thing was, I so I put up the third one, and I, it was in a corner, and you can't even see it. And uh, when I came home from work that night, because I did it before work, I came home from work that night, and my daughter was like, Dad, did you put up did you put up more of your pennants? I'm like, well, yeah, they were just sitting in a corner. She's like, Mom doesn't like that. Mom wasn't happy. You should have seen the look on her face. And I'm like, it's just one circle on the wall over, you know, like it, it didn't make a difference, but I guess she was pissed off. Uh... New York Islanders again. So see a logo change would happen. I'd be like, I gotta get that pennant. This one's fantastic. Detroit Red Wings with a beer mug. From their expansion year, the Nashville Predators. Also from the expansion year of this team, the Columbus Blue Jackets. And that's... That's epic. I mean, there are some epic ones in here because they don't exist anymore and they never will again. Uh, this one's got a, an end that's almost ripped off of it because of cats. Not the ones I have now, a cat I had at the time. Um, Panthers. Ironic, isn't it, that my cat would try to tear that off the wall? I guess he's like, fuck that cat. I'm stronger than that cat. Fuck him. Come on from work and it's ripped off the wall. Hell patches. Blackhawks. So... Again, like I said, some of these teams will repeat themselves. And you're going to see Canucks quite a bit. Because, you know, every time a new pennant came out, I was like, ooh, new pennant. And then again, just to screw with my collection, Mighty Ducks. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can almost hear everybody from here. Boston, again. And then from their expansion year. And this was before they had a logo. Okay. When this team came into the league, they did not have a logo. So the logo you see for the Wild right now didn't exist when they were awarded that franchise. This was it. That was it. And then the jersey came out later with the bear forest cougar head on it. I love that logo, though, I will say. And I was so excited the Minnesota Wild were coming in because I, I was still upset over losing the Minnesota North Stars. And then they were a bunch of dorks. Uh, Dallas Stars. I absolutely love that one, of course. This one's epic. This is one of the first ones I had. Quebec Nordiques. And of course, anything later on, they were uh, not the Nordiques anymore. Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, the movie crew couldn't wait to get their hands on this. Winnipeg Jets. From their... Oh, and this is great because it even says... 1999 inaugural season, Atlanta Thrashers. I still like that logo. I don't care if anybody else does. This was one of my first Boston Bruins. And this is my favorite Kings logo. I have a, a jersey with that logo on it. But again, because it's silver and the jerseys with that silver metallic foil in them, they fall apart. And the logo is uh, shit at this stage, so I can't I can't even wear it. It's unwearable. And then finally, Chicago. So there you go. The movie crew couldn't wait to get a hold of them. Uh, there's somebody out there scratching down all the teams and like, oh, did he get all thirty? Uh, if I didn't, then there's there's some uh, Maple Leafs I didn't see in there. I know I had a Maple Leafs one. I know I had a Maple Leafs one. In the same style as this one. So it may be somewhere around the apartment. I know I got all of my favorites in here. My favorite. Not necessarily favorite teams. But favorite pennants. Um, but yeah. I need a way to display all of them. That wall behind me. Yeah. See there's that big door over there. And uh, there's not really a way to display them. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get a backdrop put together. That I can display all this shit on. That the cats won't climb. That's the trick. Has to be something the cats won't climb. We had a partition in this apartment. Uh, when my ex left, the first thing I did was take that partition and get rid of it. I gave it away. Gone. Gave it away on Craigslist. Here, it's free. Gone. And somebody, you know, it was a wicker d d divider. There, nobody, it, uh, that was gone day one. Right away, somebody came over like, oh, my wife really wants this. And pff, couldn't get it out of here fast enough. Uh, but the cats would not stop climbing it all the fucking time. So I was really glad to get rid of it. And uh, now I need to find a divider that they won't tear to pieces. That's the trick. And, uh, you know, I mean, if I had those pennants, some jerseys, um, you know, I've got hockey pucks with logos on them. I've got all kinds of shit to put together to put together a really cool looking set. It's, uh, it's a matter of finding a way to do it. So, anyways, I just figured I would share. Those are, there's not a favorites. This isn't a, you know, these, you know, let's count them down from 10 through 1 like my jerseys. Uh, just, those are the pennants that that, that that film or set or the crew, the crew wanted badly. They were like, we have to have these. It's like, why? I mean, I gave them to them. But it was it was weird to me. Because it was like, I, I don't know why you have to have these. But alright. The Rangers aren't in there either. In Ottawa. I know I have an Ottawa one. I know I have a couple Ottawa ones. Jeez. I, then there's another pile of them around this apartment. Somewhere. There's another pile of these, of these things somewhere. Because I know I had all 30 teams. I Because my, my old apartment before we, were, we lived here. It was just pennants all the way around the top. Just I made an entire border of hockey pennants around the entire apartment. And I would tell people that, and they'd be like, oh, that's going to look so cheesy. And then they come in, and they go, wow, that looks really cool. Because I made sure they were all perfectly spaced out. They were all the exact same height. And it just, it looked like a really nice border all the way around. And then I had Christmas lights all the way around on top of them as well. So it was like they were highlighted. Yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely, it was, it was a man pad. It was a bachelor pad. But it, it, 
as soon as people walked into my apartment, I would usually get, this is Shannon's place. I wouldn't even need you to show me that I know this is your place just by looking at it. So I took that as a compliment and an insult. Anyways, uh, that's that's my pennant collection, the big pennants. I've also got the small ones that I've showed you guys before when I was like, hey, let's count down my top 30 favorite teams. Um, and I got the small pennants because they're easier to, to find a place for on the wall. But, yeah. And I can hear all the volunteers right now. I'll take that collection off your hands. I will never find those again. Ever. So, you know, I need to A, take care of them a little better than I have been, and B, I need to figure out a way to, to get them displayed and get them, get them out there again. Yeah, they're beat up, but they're mine, and they're pretty cool. Thanks for watching.